chance today. I wanted to show you the best mini chainsaw on the market or at least the one which I think has the best design. There are in particular three different reasons why I think this one is the best mini chainsaw or has the best mini chainsaw design. I've tested already quite a lot of mini chainsaws and all of them have been working pretty good. There are usually two reasons why you cannot continue cutting endlessly apart from the battery of course. The first thing is that sometimes the chain gets really dry. You can really feel that. I mean usually you can cut but when the chain is too dry then the efficiency goes down and the life expectation of such a chain will also be reduced dramatically when it's too dry without any lubrication. So that means we need some automatic lubrication system. That's what we have here. You can just open that. I hope you can see that here. You can fill some oil here inside, which I already did. Close it. There's also an opening to see if it has still enough oil. In this case, it's almost empty. I definitely need to refill, but definitely very important part. Of, of course, you can say if you're just using such a chainsaw one or two times per year, maybe it's not needed, but it can be very convenient. Then an even more important thing I would say, and that's the opening mechanism here. And this thing is absolutely convincing. Watch how easy you can open that just with this flap and then we can fully open super easy and it's not only about opening super easy it's also that the chain itself is still fully attached so it's not loose even when you open this to clean out shavings or some deep small branches whatsoever which easily get stuck here that's totally normal with all kind of mini chainsaws i don't know how it is with larger chainsaws, I guess the super large ones which the lumberjacks are using out in the woods, they work in a total different way. But at least with all the mini or medium sized chainsaws we have this problem that usually shavings and other things can get stuck here and are blocking the chain from moving and then you need to open and with a lot of mini chainsaws or also medium sized chainsaws you have to use a screwdriver some have also a larger plastic nut which you can rotate untighten open it but it's not only more difficult in most of the cases it will then unsecure the chain so it's just one nut which holds everything together when you want to open there's a risk that the whole thing is falling out the chain and the chain holder and everything and you have to put everything together that's not going to happen here because we have this additional screw which we only have to untighten when we want to tighten the chain and that's another advantage here because i can show you that here how i do that i just untighten this a little bit and so you can see it's a little bit loose but you don't have to remove the screw totally so you are not at risk that the whole thing will fall out and because it has now a spring to tighten the chain as soon as you are untighten the screw it's automatically tightening the chain you can see really really nice here no gap not too tight not too loose you can just untighten it and tighten it again and the thing is done no risk that everything will fall out and if you just need to remove stuck things here you don't even have to deal with that you just open the flap remove everything put it back secure it down here i really don't understand why not all the chainsaws at least not the mini chainsaws are working exactly same like that here so if you're looking for a good mini or medium sized chainsaw then look for something with these features i think this is a six inch it's quite large we can still call it mini chainsaw but it has a decent size and so if you're interested in this one here then you can use the link down in the description of the video can check it out or the one for you if you like it and so i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or if you have found a better mini chainsaw than that then just let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a 
thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.